Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and I'm going to show you how to set up your GNOME computer as a DLNA server. Um, so what's DLNA? It's a protocol for uh, sharing sharing videos and other media um, across devices on the same sort of local Wi-Fi network. Um, so when you set up your, your um, GNOME computer as a DLNA server, you can host videos that can then be streamed to other devices on the same Wi-Fi network like your phone or like your PS4. And so uh, this is very useful. One thing that I use it a lot for is streaming anime. Um, so I torrent the anime and I place it in the videos directory and then any device on my Wi-Fi can then stream that anime episode. Um, and I use this a lot with my PS4. I download the anime episode um, and then boot up my PS4, which is hooked up to like the TV and the sound. Um, sound system and everything and then I can stream my my um, anime episode through my PS4 and DLNA is very useful uh, compared to Chromecast because subtitles actually work so when you watch anime uh, you won't have to uh, watch it without subtitles um, it works with soft coded subtitles um, the subtitles don't need to be hard coded so you don't need to re-encode those anime episodes so let me show you how to do that. So on a GNOME computer, you want to just do settings. And it's very simple. There should be a sharing tab, right? Uh, and basically what you want to do is you want to do media sharing. Uh, you want to enable it up here. And then you want to add all the directories. Um, you do this with the plus button. So I'm sharing music videos um, and pictures, right? And then... Um, you select what network network you want to be able to 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 stream the videos on. So this is my home Wi-Fi. I do have the videos, and then basically, uh, you want to copy over um, the video that you want to um, the videos folder. And so if I put it here, right, uh, this is the latest Demon Slayer episode. Not the latest, sorry, the the, the first episode of the new season. And basically, uh, once I put it in here, I can now stream it from any device on my Wi-Fi network. Um, if we do this, um, system monitor. Then we can see Rigel. Rigel is the kind of back end for this. Um, it's a process that kind of uh, watches your media folders and then um, streams in the background to any, any clients that want it. Um, yeah, so now that we have this here, we can hop onto the PS4, and then I'll show you that I can uh, stream uh, this, this anime episode with subtitles from my laptop onto my PS4. So let's hop over there. Okay, yeah, so I'm on the PS4 here, and we have this media player application. Um, so once you open it up, you'll see that my laptop is actually showing up um, as a source, as a little network icon. So I can actually go over to videos, and then there, the anime episode is there. And uh, once I open it up, you can see it takes a little bit, but then it starts um, playing immediately. And, and um, you just go over to the right, and you can enable the subtitles. And just take a look at the quality. It's This is full 1080p, um, high quality, all over the local network. Um, it's like you're watching it on your laptop itself. This is on your PS4. Uh, it also works for, for your Android phone or other phone. All you need is VLC. Um, I use that a lot as well. But uh, let's just show that the, the subtitles actually work. See? If you can see in the bottom, we have our subtitles. And these are soft-coded subtitles. Um, they're not hard-coded into the video. Um, so the subtitles will work on on my Android phone as well through VLC, and it's it's also the end of the PS4. So yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out, and enjoy. See you guys later.